Die thema van volgens die woord is een lofoffer. Een lofoffer, een sacrifice of praise. A sacrifice of praise. It is so easy to praise God when things are going well with us. It is so easy to praise God when we have a breakthrough in our finances, when we get the promotion, when we see miracles and we experience healings. It is so easy to praise God. It's easy to praise Him when we are in victory. But what do we do when things do not go our way? When we find ourselves in a desert season, in our lives. It is in the desert season of our lives, my brother and sister, where we are not sure in which direction to go or how our needs will be met. It is in the desert season that we feel far from God and the last thing on our minds is to worship God. It is in the desert season we feel overwhelmed and we are focused on our circumstances. This is when praise and worship will not happen easily. And praising God will be an effort and it will feel like a sacrifice. A sacrifice on our part. We read about a sacrifice of praise in Hebrews 13, verse 15. By Him then, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, confessing His name. Met ander woorde, laat ons dan gedierig dier aan God een lofoffer bring. Gedierig dier beteken ongeacht, ongeacht ons omstandighede, met ons al die tyd die Heere loof. Dis nie makkelijk nie, dis een lof offer. Gedierig dier beteken ongeacht of ons in die woestijn is, of ons op vakantie by die see is, ons moet die Heere sy naam groot maak. Gedierig dier beteken elke dag, Drie keer een dag, het ons gesien in Daniels leven, word die fensters oopgeslaan, die kyk hy na Jerusalem toe, en hy buig dier drie keer een dag, en hy aanbid die Heere. In die woestijn seisoen, selfs nadat daar bevel tegen sy leven gegeen is, nou Daniel aan. In die woestijn seisoen sal die lofoffer wat ons moet bring, ons ietsie kors om dit te doen. A love offer beteken nie dit, dit is a offer, it is a sacrifice on our part. In difficult circumstances, we do not feel like praising God, it takes an effort from our side. A love offer is nie iets wat spontaan van self uit ons uitvloei neem. A love offer sal a wils besluit neem. Jy sien die uitdaging is, om nie in ons omstandighede vast te kyk nie. Soms is ons in die strijd, soms is ons net uitgeput, en dan is het moeilik om God te prijs. Misschien voel het vir ons, dat God ons te leergestel het, en dat hy ver vir ons al weg is. Misschien voel het vir ons, dat God nie omgee, dat ons sikkel en oor ons bekommernisse nie. Daarom word dit een lofoffer genoem. But when we decide, we will praise our God. When we make the decisions, we trust in Jesus. When we decide, we will give Him the praise, no matter what comes our way. We will see the grip that the circumstances has over us begins to loosen. If the evil one is behind our circumstances, he will resp- and we respond by praising God, the evil one will flee from us. The more the devil makes life difficult for us, the more we need to praise God. No matter what we face, my brother and sister, God is worthy of our praise. 
The fact that God loved us enough to send Jesus to die for us is enough reason to praise God continuously. By praising God, we are bringing His circumstances, we are bringing Him, His presence into our circumstances. By praising God in desert circumstances, we are showing God that we are living for Him, out of our love for Him, and not what we can get from Him. If we worship God, irrespective of circumstances, it shows our heart is one with His. Where are the details of Job? It is easy om te lees, it is so easy om te ervaar nie. Job moes een wils besluit maak, Job 13, 15, sê, kyk, al wil hy my ombring, ek hoop op hom. Ek hoop op hom. Makkelike woorde om te lees, nie so makkelijk om dit te doen, of dit te ervaar nie. Al voel die lewe, my boetie en sissy, net te veel, al voel ons oorweldig dier omstandighede, is dit die beste tyd om een lofoffer te breng. Vir een lofoffer gee die Heere vreegde in plaas van droefheid. Vir een lofoffer gee die Heere blijdskap in plaas van hartseer. Om die Heere te prijs en te aanbid, neem ons die focus van ons self en ons omstandighede af en ons focus skuif na ons Heere, ons Redder en ons Skepper. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Jy sien die lewe Die lewe gaan nie net oor ons nie, en ons omstandighede nie. Ons neig so makkelijk na selfsicht toe, die arme ek. Vader wil hy ons met ons focus afskuif van ons self af, en ons focus op hom plaas, want dit is waar ons ware hoop leem. Spreek in 3 vers 5 sê, vertrouw op die Heere met jou hele hart. Vertrouw die hele met jou hele hart en steen nie op jou eie inzicht nie. Psalm 27:14. Wacht op die Here, wees sterk en laat jou hart sterk wees. Ja, wacht op die Here, wees stil en weet dat ek God is. Praise and worship will lead us into a deeper place of humility. When we praise and worship God, we acknowledge our need of him. When we praise and worship God, we remember that we are not in control, but that He is, and that He reigns above all. Koning David het gesê, Come, let us praise the Lord. Let us sing for joy to God, who protects us. Let us come before Him with thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs of praise. For the Lord is the mighty God, a mighty King over all the gods. Dit is nie wonderlik nie. Oh, my boete en sis, jy sê net kan, kan aanmoedig, laat ons nie dat omstandighede ons gewichte op ons plaas nie, maar laat ons voorbij dit kyk en ons koning sien. Lofsang en aanbidding, in die woestijn sy soen, sal die vijand dat op die vlug slaan. Lofsang en aanbidding, druk die donkerte terug. Lofsang en aanbidding, bring Godse teenwoordigheid in ons omstandighede in. David skryf in Psalm 9, hy sê, Psalm 9, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all the wonderful things you have done. I will sing with joy because of you. I will sing praises to you, almighty God. Verse 3 says, my enemies turn back when you appear. They fall down and they die. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise and worship leaves no place for complaining and negativity. Sadly, it even happens in our prayer life that we complain to God. We complain about this and about that. We complain about the economy. We complain about the government. We spend most of our time in prayer by complaining. But God knows our hearts. God cares about the things that we care about. God knows where we are. God knows what we need. We need to change the focus of our prayers from complaining to worshipping Him. A time of worship for our King. 
When we worship Him in prayer, we are taking our focus off ourselves and we remind ourselves of what Father has already done for us. We are no longer focusing our prayer on our struggles. We are reminded that God knows what concerns us. We are reminded that He is capable of taking care of all that is burdening us. David often praised the Lord and so must we. Praise the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget how kind He is. He forgives all my sins and He heals my diseases. He keeps me from the grave and blesses me with love and mercy. He fills my life with good things so that I stay young and strong like an eagle. Gewonnelik is het lof en aanbidding los geen ruimte vir kla en negatief wees in ons gebede nie. Lof en aanbidding maak die weg oop om vader sy teenwoordigheid in te kom. Ente his courts with praise and worship. Dit is belangrijk voor als ons ver van God af voel. Lofsang is die deur, dit is die weg in Godse teenwoordigheid in. Psalm 100 vers 4 sê, Gaan sy poorte in met lof, sy voorhoofde met lof gesang, loof hom, prijs sy naam. Prijs die naam van Jesus. Lofsang bring Godse teenwoordigheid na ons toe. Psalm 22 3 sê, Toch is hier die heilige wat woon onder die lofsange van Israel. Toch is hier die heilige wat woon onder die lofsang van die kinders. Ons bring Godse teenwoordigheid in ons midde in, in ons omstandighede in, wanneer ons om loof en prijs selfs in die woestijn omstandighede in. Sy teenwoordigheid bring vreegde en blijdskap in ons harte, in ons seels dimensie in. Praise and worship will cause our spirits to be refreshed and renewed in His presence. We are strengthened in His peace. We are refueled by the joy He gives our souls. In the presence there is fullness of joy. More than this, my brother and sister, in God's presence, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Paul and Silas were chained together in the dungeon and they sang praises and worshipped God and the chains just fell off from them. They were set free. Praise and worship will set us free. Ek wil begin om af te sluit. Ons het elke dag een kese wat ons moet maak. Ons kan ingetrek word in bekommernis en stress, gefokus op omstandighede om ons. Of ons kan ons fokus na vader toe draai, ongeacht die omstandighede en ons homeer en prijs in die moeilikste tye een lof offer bring en erkenning aan hom gee dat hy ons in sy hand het een lofoffer aan hom bring. Let us choose. It's a choice we make. A choice to sacrifice. And let us choose to bring a sacrifice of praise to God, irrespective of our circumstances. It's not easy to do. It is a choice that we need to make. Vaders het een woordigheid in ons omstandighede verander ons omstandighede. Ons nooi om in, dier hom te loof en te prijs vir wie hy is, al is ons in die woestijn. Die lofprysing en aanbidding en is soos, soos reen in die namakkoland. Die woestijn blom met lewe na die reen geval het. So ook, my boete en sissie, kan ons levens weer boom dier lofprysing, ongeacht van omstandighede aan ons koning te bring. Prijs sy naam. Halleluja, amen. Kom ons, kom ons bid saam. Kom ons bid saam. Father, we offer worship and praise to you this morning. We praise you for your thankfulness. We praise you for your great love towards us. We praise you for caring and sending Jesus to save us. We confess this morning, Lord, that we need you. We choose today to focus on worship and praising 
irrespective of our circumstances. Thank you that you care for us. Thank you that you are breathing revival into our hearts. Fill us with your spirit, Lord. Draw us close to you, I pray, in the wonderful, beautiful name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Amen and amen.